Hello all and welcome to Tom Plays and today as you can see we are playing Sonic the Hedgehog uh, on the Sega Mass system. The first Sonic game that I ever played and remains one of my favourite entries in the series to this day. So without further ado let's crack on. I've played this game um, a fair few times before. Oi. So yeah, we'll see how we go here. But uh, I think this game plays exceedingly well on the math system. It's its own game. It's not trying to be, like anyone who's played this already knows, it's not trying to be the original uh, Mega Drive game. It's very much its own thing. Of course, there are a few similarities in stages and stuff. And you can do that on the first level and bypass it all, which <laughs> I've been doing for uh, for a good while. Now, I'll point out now, I realise after watching back the Dick Tracy video I did last week, that <laughs> by putting myself in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen there, uh, I was obscuring a lot of the action, a lot of everything that was coming in from the right-hand side of the screen. Because, uh, yeah, that just happened to be <laughs> right over where a lot of the gameplay was happening. But I forgot to fix it here, so I hope Sonic's not going to be uh, too much of a problem. In terms of you being able to see what's happening, because Sonic pretty much stays in the centre and there's not enemies coming in from the right constantly like on Dick Tracy. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that. But I had realised that was probably not a good place to put my little camera box previously. So we're going to go for um, the emeralds, if we can. I'm not sure I remember where all of them are, but I'll get as many as I can remember to get. And of course, if you want to join in and uh, chat, uh, feel free. I've got the little uh, mobile phone to my left, so if you see me glancing over there, I'm looking to see if we've had any chats. But seeing that I never advertise exactly when I'm doing these, I don't expect too many people to be watching. I need to get better at that. I'm not a professional live streamer by any stretch of the term. If you happen to hear any loud noises in the background, it's because I live on a flight path, so... <laughs> We're not literally on the flight path, you know. I live in an area where we get it quite a lot of low-flying planes. Just point that out in case you ever wonder. If you hear a drone in the background, that's what it is. So here's the interesting special stage. Oh, and I've got to remember which one of these gets me highest so I can make it above that. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'm not meant to go up there. Basically, the continue in this level. Here we are. I've still got Sega, those rings do. This is how you get continues, not emeralds in the special stages. And it's, I think if you get over 50 rings at the end of the stage, you qualify for a special stage. Now, this isn't the shortest game. I think we're... I don't know. It never felt like the shortest game. So I'm not sure how quickly we'll whiz through this, but I am very familiar with the game, so there'll be no time spent me trying to work out what to do. Now, coming up to the first boss, it always fascinated me that in the, mass, uh, sorry, in the Game Gear version of this game, you could actually hit uh, Robotnik... Or as he's now known Eggman. Or as he's always known in Japan, Eggman. But of course, now as a little kid, I was calling him Dr. Robotnik. And, yeah, you can hit him when he's flying across the top in the Game Gear version of this. But in a Master System version, you have to wait for him to uh, travel down either side of the screen. Part of me feels like I have hit him at the top once, but... 
honestly can't remember. I wouldn't say this was an incredibly difficult game, but it has a good challenge. Uh, this was one I could actually complete as a kid, so that goes <laughs> as far as saying this isn't as difficult as some of the other games I've tackled in the previous weeks. But it's fun, you know, and that's what matters. And here we have Bridge Zone, with what may be a familiar uh, piece of music. In fact. There's a Janet Jackson song, which I feel at least part of it was uh, inspired by this. Or it could just be co coincidence, and the melody could be, uh, you know... It's not exactly the same, but I think a lot of people have pointed out that the, mus the melody in this uh, particular track reminds me of that Janet Jackson tune. It's a, it's a good uh, good bit of music, actually. And some will also be able to point out that, that there is slowdown in this game. It's not something that's ever bothered me. But yeah, it is, it is noticeable that the game does slow down at certain times. I kind of like it when a game sort of... Uh, struggles a little with slowdown. Now, I wouldn't like it if it's happening all the time, but... For the, you know, the amount it happens in this game, it's not an issue. And it sort of fascinates me. Kind of creates a little bit of a slow motion sequence. So there's where the second uh, emerald is hidden. If you are curious and have never played this game before, this little uh, live stream here could potentially act like a bit of a walkthrough. I... Although, I, as I said previously, I'm not sure I remember where all the emeralds are, but... An auto-scrolling level. There's two auto-scrolling levels in this game. One that scrolls um, left to right, and one that scrolls upwards, where you're travelling up a waterfall in the jungle zone. Which I think is next, after this particular zone. Bridge Zone, a very very creative title for a level. You know what, it contains bridges. So that makes perfect sense to me. I'm sure there's loads of other videos of people playing this game on um, YouTube. Uh, but uh, thank you for checking out this particular one. If you're watching this retrospectively. This is a continue, so we will continue from this point if we are to die. I think there's an extra life uh, down here somewhere. Just... There you go. You do really have to look to find that one. It's just uh, the usual get 100 rings and you get an extra life. I'm not sure if you lose them all, so if you what you have to choose between either an extra life or a continue. Of course, if we get 50 and cross the finish line here, we get a continue. But if we get 100, we might just get an extra life, so we're not going to get 100 now. But we will get a special stage. There we go. Hiya, Nanda. Thanks for checking out the stream. I'm guessing you might be a Sonic fan by your uh, icon there. As am I. And uh, this was my introduction to Sonic the Hedgehog when I was a kid. On the uh, Sega Master System. We've got a few uh, Sonic videos on uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, ugh, that you might be interested in, in checking out. I want to get that extra life there. 
There we go. So I think this is still probably the best Sonic game on the Master System. I don't know if that's a controversial thing to say, but it's my favourite. With Sonic Chaos coming second, and I'm not a huge fan of Sonic 2 on the uh, Master System, at least. I think Sonic 2 in the Mega Drive is the best Sonic game ever, but uh, Sonic 2 in the Master System... Oh, oops. Not my favourite. I never really liked this boss either. He's a bit of a, a bit of a pain, this boss, but I think... No, you can't keep getting extra lives. <laughs> that was the last stage. You could play it safe and do that. Get just one hit in. Which I think I'm going to do this time. Just to be safe. Because we'll get there in the end. Oh no! Wasn't expecting that. There we go. So that's it. Stage two. Bridge zone done, and now we're off to the jungle. Yeah, a lot of the bosses are pretty straightforward <laughs> in this game. I would say once you know what to do, they're very straightforward. I remember that one though, as as a kid, it always caused me a bit of a bit of trouble. Because you have to follow the pattern, I suppose. As a child I I just want you to just jump at him and attack him. No time for a carefully planned out strategy when you've got the Brain of a. I don't know how old I was when I was playing this. Rather young, I would say. Impressive uh, waterfall effects here. Ah, okay. Jungle boss is more difficult, yeah, for sure. Oh, didn't mean to fall down there. It's those rolling. Uh, Cannonballs, isn't it? I guess the bosses do get uh, progressively harder, which which makes sense. I think it's a very thought, well thought out, well designed game in general. This, which is why I think it's my favourite on the Master System. Now, I think the emerald is down here. Yeah, okay. And this always caused me, I used to panic as a kid to think I could, oh, can I get, can I get in that bit there? Because there, there you go, if you hit that top bit, you'll die. So you have to wait for the thing to go a bit lower. So you, you need a little bit of patience. <laughs> And that was another quality I didn't really have as a child. I didn't, I didn't have the same level of patience as I have as an adult. Which means I've been completing, or getting close to completing, a lot more Mass System games just lately. That I've just returned to. I was used to struggle with, but... I could complete this game. I think the ones that the emeralds that I found hard to get on this were Scrap Brain Zone and the, uh, the final level, you know, the, uh, the airship blimp, whatever you call it. I think you can take this uh, further, that, but it's not as fun as actually doing the, the platforming. To do. 
I do like the music on this jungle level, it's very cheerful. I do enjoy. So that's uh, Act 1 of Stage 3, and we've got another special stage. I always used to think these little things at the bottom there reminded me of the Twister uh, ice creams that you can get. Oh, that's a... Ice lollies. What's that one? Oh, it's an extra life. We'll get that too. So I've live streamed Sonic Chaos before, so the only Math System one after this I haven't live streamed is Sonic 2, which of course I've been leaving till last. <laughs> But, uh, you know, there are some really nice things about that game, but it's a little bit, a little bit frustrating. An 8-bit Sonic game I haven't played too much of but I have played before is uh, Triple Trouble on the Game Gear. I think there is a math system version of Triple Trouble. I, it might not be legitimate, but uh, it might have been one of those Brazil only releases. I can't remember. No, I, think it, I think it was uh, only on the Game Gear, wasn't it? That was um, similar to. Uh, Chaos. I think I think in Japan it's, in it, it's called Sonic and Tails 2. Because uh, of course I think in Japan Chaos is called Sonic and Tails. Because you can play as Tails. At least in um, Sonic Chaos. I think you can in Triple Trouble. Although I can't remember. Oh, it does sort of, yeah, the camera isn't very helpful on that particular level. On this, yeah, this level. I think I've done it enough times to sort of know uh, where I'm at with it. But yeah, when I used to play this Back in the day, it was uh, quite challenging. Of course, you get no rings on the, the bosses. So we'll see how we go with this one. Gotta watch out for them. I think they're like licorice swirls. I think with any game, if you sort of play it enough, you learn it, you know when to jump, you know the timing of it. Yeah, but if, if you start missing the timing on that, it can get difficult. So off to the labyrinth now. Not my favourite stage. Underwater stages uh, never really float my boat, although they would literally. Good music though. I always used to like the music on this level. I think it's frustrating uh, a little because 
he's used to Sonic being fast. You want him to be fast all the time, but of course when he's underwater he's all a bit he's a bit slow. Oh yeah, in Sonic games, underwater stages in general are pretty unwanted. They do offer quite a challenge though. There's one on Sonic Chaos which isn't that bad. Oh, that was frustrating, wasn't it? Whatever, Sleeping Egg Zone on Sonic Chaos isn't too bad. And Hydro City's alright. But the one on Sonic 2 on the Master System... Bleh. That's not good. Oh, look at, look at that. Get some more rings. Oh, wow. We did the same thing twice. I too hate underwater stages. <laughs> I'm just uh, remembering how much I dislike this particular level. What was that over there? Should we get what was over there? Rings. Look at that. Just little things to catch you out all the time. Okay, we'll, we'll do better this time. This is where uh, patience pays off again. I think there's... Oh. Okay. There's a frustrating bit coming up. Destroy that and unleashes the bubbles. So here, I used to stand here and wait for all these uh, projectiles to be uh, dispensed with. I'm going to just go back down here and get the... Uh, and then we can sort of just roll into that. I am today, yes, this isn't uh, original hardware, although I do own the game. It's just more convenient to um, to do that than... Ooh, the other. What am I going this way for? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Was it worth it for that? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know, I might just lose it on my way. Flip flops. Okay. One moment. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So yes, uh, we have got the original uh, game here. This is the copy I've had all my life, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> uh, one of my very favourite games of all time, uh, regardless of system. Oh, we got this, this little, this little doody. Oh, I'm losing my flow, losing my concentration. Go on, go on. You can. We'll do that again. Oh, we need some bubbles. Here's one. Can we get it in time? 
Oh no, okay, I think we'll be able to get another one before. Gosh, yes, this uh, level is not my favourite. But yeah, we can turn those rings into a life, if you want. Ooh, got an extra life as well. Oh! Good job we got that extra life, eh? Okay, we won't, won't mess up again. <laughs> again, it's for a shield, is it? Mm. Interesting. That will come in handy. Actually, I did not know there was a remastered port of this at all. That would be very interesting to check out. I'd like to. I'd like to try that. I've only ever known this uh, version of it. Oh no! I forgot about this guy. Oh, that guy's a pain, isn't he? Have we got? A oh, we'll just do that. Oh yeah, there is nothing this way. This is a this is a trick. I can't say I ever go this way normally. Though what what made me this time? There we go. Now I really like to play that a, a remastered port of this. Hmm. I wonder what that looks like. I shall have to look it up. A burrow bot. Okay, I think that spring is going to give us some air. Oh yes, much better. Why is that so difficult to cross there? There we go. Ooh, close. We'll let that just go and then... I think there's some air here. There you go. So underwater, are they, they flames as well, do you think? <laughs> if that doesn't make much sense, if they are. Ah, so here is the uh, the ring. Yeah. Just <laughs> be a little bit quicker than that. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, I thought it would probably be a, a fan-made thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not aware of uh, Sega remastering this game. I don't think it's top of their uh, agenda. I think the Sonic fan community is fantastic, you know, all these uh, projects that they that they do. Uh, some really impressive stuff out there.
I know there's a, a Sonic Chaos uh, fan project. I don't think it's the entire game, and it's very much a reimagining of Chaos, isn't it? We'll just... Uh, I don't know if we need to get the, the emerald again. Yeah, we've got it once, so... You can lose a life. <laughs> so there's really uh, no problem in picking that up. Now, I seem to remember that the uh, boss level on this isn't actually a boss. I do own Sonic Mania. Fantastic game. I own it on multiple systems. <laughs> I don't like it that much. Yeah, it's, it's really, really great. I think I have streamed. I have streamed Sonic Mania in the in the past. Oh, it's not a it's not a maze, is it? On this one, it is actually a boss. Gosh, I think I'm getting it confused with Sonic on the uh, Mega Drive. Of course, here. Oh, you don't do that. I think we'll wait for this rather than try and get a hit in there. Now, your air is unlimited here, isn't it? These rockets shouldn't cause you too much trouble if you just step out of the way. And jump. You get two in there. We'll just yeah, this boss isn't that difficult, is it, when you know what you're doing? Did it? Mm -hmm. Get a couple of hits in. Oh, it's going that way this time. Nice effect on these underwater missiles. They really do feel like they're moving... Uh, Underwater. Couple in. There we go. Feels good to have uh, Labyrinth uh, done. And uh, do we move on to Scrap Brain next? With some of the best music in any Sonic game, I'd say. There's no boss on Scrap Brain. That's what it is, isn't it? So here's where sometimes I can't find the um, emerald sometimes on this level. I really feel like I, I'd done really good if I made up to here as a kid. I was like, yeah, I'm on Scrap Brain. It's cool. I don't think the emeralds on this level. Oh, it's always on the second one, isn't it? No, it's no. The emerald's not always on the second level. It's on the. F I said second act. It's on the. F Oh, I don't, I don't remember. It's on the first act of Jungle, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a sneaky spring, isn't it? Da -da -da -da. I've loved here like a heavy metal remix of this. That's an easy first date, isn't it?
What's in there? This level's a bit more of a maze, isn't it? Can you go down here? Oh no, that seemed to recall you could go down one of them. I was, I was wrong. Try to spin that then. Getting that shield, does it? For that. There we go. Oh, Sonic R, yes. Uh, first played Sonic R on the PC. Uh, it was years later that I played the Saturn original, but I really like Sonic R. I know um, some people don't like the way it plays very much, which no, it, it's fair enough because it is quite a unique game, but no, I, I really uh, got to grips with it and really enjoyed it. I think most people agree that the soundtrack's particularly good. I don't know if it's good or I've gone back on myself or what. Oh, I've got an extra life. Okay. idea here might be to hit that and then go back I don't know if that was correct or not let's see I wonder when the timeout was. Yeah, it, you know, they're, they're cool stages in the Mega Drive version. Yeah, it's a shame they're not here in this one. Well, I did, I did that. I mean, if I can't get the emerald here, that's fine. I probably have just missed it quite obviously. I guess it has um, bridge instead of marble zone, doesn't it? Yeah. So here's the boss, it isn't a boss. I think this stage is actually where the emerald is, isn't it? I don't know. I'll try and find it at least. I'll have a bit of a, a bit of a look around. Oh, 
Oh god. Did this guy in circles, couldn't you? I guess you have to look at this really, this game is its own its own thing. And you know, in a way I'm glad it's different from Sonic on the Mega Drive because it makes it more unique. was the way. Okay, we didn't we didn't get the emerald, but no problem. We're gonna complete the game anyway. And that is our goal for today. Oh, we get the same music again. I forgot it's the same music. I love the way the rings are in darkness, the whole level's in darkness. Apart from Sonic, because if he was in darkness, you wouldn't be able to see him very well, would you? But actually, I think... Um, well, you'd still be able to see him. I think it would have been fine. So the only odd thing about the lighting in this stage is the fact that Sonic's not lit. But otherwise, it's a really clever, uh, really clever idea. It's really nicely done. Ah! And this music is great, so I don't mind hearing it again. Ah, oh, no, no, that, that was uncalled for, wasn't it? Okay. Luckily, we've got plenty of continues, plenty of lives, so if we do, we do fall off this level at any time, we can uh, carry right back on again. The problem with this, if you try and rush through it, you're just not going to get anywhere, are you? You've got to play it slow and steady. See, that's where I'll get you. A lack of patience will get you nowhere. Because you know where you went wrong, you're just trying to rush through it. But there's no rush. You can play extra careful like that. <laughs> oh. It is possible in a game like this to just lose your flow, isn't it? Yeah, imagine a remaster of this with like moving clouds. Oh, that'd be lovely. Real atmosphere. Because the core gameplay is sound, I mean, I mean, it looks good for its time, but let's see what we can do with it now. Just gonna sit here. 
We can wait for him. Oh. There's also a thing in Sonic games, isn't it? This fear of falling from, from a high height. You get it at the end of Sonic 2 as well, don't you? go. Onto the airship. <laughs> what do they call it? Sky Base. That's what they call it. Oh, well, uh, the clouds uh, do zip past in this one. Oh, a nice bit of slow down here. Oof. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, well, there are no rings on this level. For some reason, I thought about jumping over to the right to see if I could get the emerald, but. Bit of patience, and we'll get there. So this thing here, will it explode? Oh gosh! Do you just run past it? I forgot what you do normally. Not meant to jump there. It's okay. We've got all the continues. Well, three of them. Right. I can't remember that. A little enemy in there. Oh, I can't fail at the final hurdle, can I? Just okay, so we just do that. That's the way you, you deal with that fella. I think the emeralds on the other side. There it is. Oh! Well, we ate through that continue pretty quickly. So, set this little trap off, run. I didn't... Oh, fuck. Oof. Are we in now? This final boss? I'm pretty sure it is.
I didn't think I'd um, make so many mistakes on that level. Back to the classic scrap brain music. Okay, here we go, here we go. Final boss. He's different to the one in Sonic on the Mega Drive, isn't he? Yeah, that was frustrating when he got me that time. Oh! I should just be a little bit more careful, shouldn't I? It's when you can't predict uh, the pattern. And it just throws you. Like here. Yeah, yeah, you've got to quickly jump back there, haven't you? You've got to hit him and jump straight back. Okay, one last uh, attempt. If we don't make it, it's not the end of the world. I'm not trying to prove that I'm an expert Sonic 1 player. It'll be nice to finish it though, because I have played an awful lot of this game before, and to think I'm not able to complete it all these years later would be a bit of a disappointment. isn't going to move. Oh, 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 oh. Darn, darn it. Oh, wasn't looking. Wasn't looking. Oh dear, this could all go to pot now. Got to concentrate. What was going on there? Oh, what a shame. That's it, game over. I have done this before, but on this occasion, we're not gonna play through it all over again. Uh, but I do hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, thanks very much, Nanda, for um, checking out the stream today. Thanks for uh, keeping me company. Yeah, game over, no more. And we're not gonna play through it again, uh, but 
you pretty much seen the entire game there. There's a nice little end sequence I would have liked to have shown you, but hey, perhaps uh, it's for another day. Uh, so yeah, thanks again for checking out the stream, and uh, until I see you again for another episode, it is goodbye, and...